10 minutes ago. This was a bog stock Linux Mint 19 Mate desktop. We've added some icons and themes to it. You can see how it looks. If you like what you're seeing, stick around. I'll show you how to do it in under 10 minutes. This is our fresh Linux Mint 19.2 Mate desktop installed that we're going to convert to look a little bit like Windows 10. We come to here, all the links will be in the description, so don't worry about that. Cinnamon Spices, we click download on the right hand side. We save the file. And we go to the next tab. And we come down a little bit, it says files 3. Windows 10 icons 1.2 all.deb, so we're going to use the .deb package. This is a little bit different than the Cinnamon install that I did also. If you watched that video, we're going to save the file. We're going to start the file browser. I'm going to press F3 just to give me two panes to work from. On the right hand side, I'll open the downloads directory. There's our downloads. The left hand side, I'm going to press Control H. And we'll note that I'm currently in my username or my home directory. I'm going to right click and create a folder called .themes. And the Control H is just so that we can show hidden files. And there you can see the shortcut Control and H. And there is extra pane F3 that just splits it in the two panes like we've got there. We'll unpack this uh, theme, so we'll double click on it. We'll press extract and then extract again. We'll click on quit. This is our extracted themes folder here. That's the, the zip that it came out of. So we're going to right click on this one. We're going to cut it. We're going to paste that into the themes directory that we created in our home directory over here. So we'll just right click on dot themes and paste into the folder. We're done with that. This one here, we're going to double click it. A little installer will launch. And we're going to install the package. Put in your administration password or your root password. And we can tell that it's installed because the options are now reinstall package. And up the top it says same versions already installed. So we can just hit the X out of that. Now we've got our themes and icons installed. Go to the menu to the control center, click on appearance, we'll click on customize, I'm going to use mint wide dark for the what's called the controls, as you can see everything sort of went dark, window border, we're going to scroll down and use windows 10. There you go, you can see the, the top board and we've got a nice little frame around the outside of our windows. And for the icons, we're going to scroll down and we're going to use Win 10, like so. We're going to close out of there. You can see the uh, control center looks a little bit different. The icons looks quite nice actually. And if we bring up the file browser, I'll press F3 to go back to a single pane and Control H to rehide the hidden folders and click on the home directory. That's how the that's how the uh, file browser is now going to look. Pretty smart indeed. We have this uh, Linux Mint icon for the menu button. You can also see that the most of the menus have changed with the uh, the icons. So we're going to change this menu button by right clicking and going to preferences. And this is it here, this little button. And we're going to type Ubuntu 
there it is there Ubuntu logo we'll click select and now you can see we've got a bit of a, a Windows looking logo on our menu we can close out of there oh, you can also if you want to if you don't want to have menu there you can see it says menu down on the button you can delete that if you want nothing or you could type start in there if you want it to look more authentic but I'm going to just use menu for this demonstration and now we'll change this desktop background here so we'll right click change desktop background and I'm going to add because I've actually already downloaded it and there it is there Windows 10 no prizes for guessing that one we can close and there we go there's a a Tay desktop on Linux Mint looking look at a million bucks really I think that looks pretty good those those icons certainly look pretty smart in the uh, control center and we've got a few new ones down where the clock is in the lower right hand corner uh, unfortunately I don't think much of the the update manager you can see it's blue with a white exclamation mark and there's actually some updates there so we'll install those while we're here and I'll show you what it looks like there it is in uh, active mode or whatever that's called and that's a little bit it's not a very good check mark but I guess it gets the job done and we can see that's changed down into the uh, the icon for it as well there is also a, a dark theme again I'll put the the link in the description this is uh, github so we're going to click here clone or download I'm going to download the zip and save the file there we go it's already down we'll go back to the file manager and downloads Windows 10 dark master.zip so we'll extract that and we'll quit and there's the folder so we'll cut and we have to go back into our home directory and press Control H to reveal the hidden folders again and there's our dot themes we right click on that paste that into there as well minimize that if we go back to our appearance and customize window border we've now got the dark you watch the top of them they'll all turn dark here in a moment like so there is also an option in there under controls for Windows 10 dark master uh, there's, there's actually one there for Windows 10 when we installed the original theme at the beginning but you'll see that's quite light it's just about blinding me here and I'll go to the dark one and there's the dark one uh, I like dark themes but that's a little bit too dark especially when you've got windows on windows it's hard to find where your uh, title bars are and so forth I guess you could go you could change your window borders to a lighter one makes it a bit easier but I'd actually prefer the um, the dark border and then go back to the controls and have well actually I prefer the uh, where is it mint in why dark that one there that that makes it dark without it being jet black and you've got the dark bar at the top there or as I say we can go back and have the the light bar so there's another option for the the Matei desktop there you could also do that on the, the cinnamon one if you watch that video for doing this similar thing on Linux Mint cinnamon edition there you have it under 10 minutes we've got all these beautiful icons nice theming done to our computer looks a hundred percent looks a million bucks as they say whether you choose to uh, do it the same as what we've done here or use one of the pre-configured settings that come here in uh, Linux Mint by default or choose to go out and experiment and find something else hope you have fun do it build yourself a ripper system and I'll see you on the next one